Right, all right, all right, guys, it is time for yet another episode of I Cast Your Freaking Awesome Replays. That's I C Far for short, and we are casting the challenges from the last week. It was Kick the Ant Hive, the Ant Hive, that's right, the Ant Hive, Kick the Ant Hive, swarm your opponents with masses of low tier units. So far, we have seen uh, a lot of zealots do rather well in game one, despite not being able to attack up and struggling with the Liberators. We'll see what happens here in the second game. In the bottom left, in the red, it is Kid Poker. And down in the bottom right, the blue Zerg already with two overlords just chilling. Perving on their own workers. It's a Wookiemon. Well, that's not suspicious at all. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> STV comes out, he's like on the way, he's like, uh, guys. I don't want to be racist, but there is a drone. He's wearing a hoodie. He's got a different complexion to me. And um, he's just, he's loitering outside the, honestly, I think we should probably call the police. I don't think he's up to any any good. And they're like, uh, excuse me? He's just like calling the fucking police on him because he looks different. He's like, well, he's, he's loitering and he's wearing the hood up. Why would you wear the hood up unless you're up to no good? Uh, totally valid reasoning, sure. Uh, meanwhile, I don't think Kid Poker's necessarily playing too much of a clean, squeaky clean game either. Because this is an eBay block into a proxy barracks, plus a barracks at home. And this SCV also looks like he's up to no- Is he gonna- What is this fucker up to? Like this guy- Yeah, that guy- That's that kid in, in school. There's always some hyper kid is like fucking rubbing his boogers on the other kids and stuff. I think that's that SCV. Just comes and builds an engineering bay in your natural. Look at that. Gets it to bloody uh, 25 out of 25, but it's not finished, so he can cancel it to get the money back. He's cheating on his test, trying to look over and get the answers off your paper. You're like, get away from me, you dickhead. Stop stop stealing the answers, man. That's that moment where you purposely write a really stupid wrong answer, and you, you make sure they see it, so they copy it. Like, that was actually the greatest, the greatest thing was if, like, one of the, the nerdy kids did that to one of the kids who, like, not just cheated, but cheated with zero, zero critical thinking to paying attention to, like, what he was writing. They're like, they're like, oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's three plus six is nine. Um, oh, okay. Uh, essay question. I have a small penis and am attracted to pouring, uh, and they just like write anything, you know. They just, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, do you read? <laughs> I'm like, you're capable of copying the other words. Surely you're capable of reading them and understanding that. Just maybe you have. You, they've realized you're cheating off them, and and you you know, it's like, <laughs> uh, there was always there was always one kid who's like, nah, man, that's the smart kid. I'll just write exactly what he writes. I don't even need to think about what the words say. It will be fine. Speaking of fine, what the fudge is this? I'm going to spread creep outside your base. I'm going to make some roaches against your proxy reaper. And the reapers, check this out. Kid Poker is going to rally reapers through the roaches. So guys, what we're going to see here is Kid Poker, a player who actually does know how to use control groups, but is just rallying reapers in one at a time accidentally because the barracks are on opposite sides of the map. So what we're going to see is a player up against his own barracks rallies. This is amazing. Look, yeah, yeah, the barracks rallies are both on the Reapers, so he's just going to keep doing this. I guarantee you there is no way this Terran player has a moment of clarity and changes the rally point inside his base. No, 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 no. He's just going to keep rallying Reapers through one at a time. This is amazing. Oh, no, he changed it. What is this, a Masters level game? Get the fuck out of here, Kid Poker. Oh, it's okay. He's not going to get in the bunker. He's not going to get in the bunker. <laughs> he does just barely. Oh my god. Kid Poker just ruining all of my expectations. This is sad. SCVs are going to come and try to repair that. Nice. Bile takes out the uh, SCV there. But you know what? That Ravager is going to go down. And those Reapers looking ready to counterattack at the same time. Yes, the wall does go down. Those Roaches will get in. But at the same time, these four Reapers... What are you doing? No! <laughs> he gets in. He says, fuck you, Queen. She's like, what? They're like, you stupid. She's like, is that it? And they all just turn around and run out of the base. No, Kid Poker. I think you probably should have used more than a you stupid. I think honestly that may have been the moment to actually just kill her and her family of drones. Like, I'm not saying I'm normally behind murder, but there's Proxy, Proxy Roach. You should have stayed there and killed him. This, they just grew, what? Is that grenade? He's like, you know what would really hurt his feelings? Is if the guy who just who just said, you stupid, 
then starts grenading their own units. Like, because if you're getting called stupid by someone who's grenading their own units, like, that's really where you get hit right in the feels, right? Kid Poker <laughs> is now rallying Marines back. This one's like, I think I can run the goal. <laughs> There's a friggin' gigantic queen needle sticking through his throat as he falls. He's like, okay, maybe not. Maybe that's not going to be the best. Uh, I do like that the Zerg is still just like, well... He's now had minutes to prepare. There's a bunker on the high ground. I think I should just make more roaches and ravages and keep pushing the ramp. Meanwhile, by the way, there's piss all gas mining. Reapers, get back, get back, get back. Oh, there's a tank. That tank is going to shut this down. Oh, is Wookiemon going to commit? That's insane. That makes no sense. Oh, dude, Wookiemon's getting dumpstered. <laughs> One roach gets in there and starts vomiting on the tank. But it's going to get repaired. The Reapers are going to clean it up. This is a great hold for Kid Poker. Um, there are still buildings burning. How can you sleep while the depot's burning? Um, all right. He's not. He's, he's not going to sleep. He's going to actually repair that. Yeah, only one worker on this gas geyser is an issue. Wookiemon is like all in on Roach Ravager on one base. I still think with all this creep spread could easily drone up behind this. But instead, we're going to see what we call the Zerg Headbutt. Now, a Zerg Headbutt, what's really great about it and what distinguishes it from most headbutts is it's not critical, right? Um, a lot of players, when they headbutt, they look for the weak spot in their opponent. They want to connect the hard bit of their forehead with their opponent's nose or jaw or something like that. You really, you know, it's strength against weakness. But when a Zerg headbutts, it's honestly, it's just, it's like watching one of those angry rams or goats, but they'll charge anything. Like no thought into what or why they're doing it. Those be like, me headbutt up ramp. Me, me headbutt. That's it. I mean, the Reapers are finally going to get in the bunker. They did actually kill the tank, so hats off there. By the way, Kid Poker got that tank out three minutes ago. Is still not built a second siege tank, but has somehow found the room to get three factories in a starport with a tech lab. Well, that's just impressive. <laughs> you're being one base all in, you're like, I need my second and third factory. I'm like, what? I also need to move my tank to the edge where it can get sniped. Kid Poker had this game in the bag. We call this a pig defense. It's where you have the game won, but rather than winning, you decide to just make economy and stuff. Even though you know the Zerg is all in, you have an engineering bait blocking his only expansion. He's got creep outside your base. His base is literally outside your base. You don't, you, you, you don't, you don't need to do that. Like, like once again, puts his tank on the edge where an overlord can see it. And it can be like, put it back here, mate. Kid Poker, not necessarily learning from his mistakes. I'd love to see it right up against it. So three buyers could take both, but no, Kid Poker is going to actually separate the tanks a little bit. Reaper's going to run out and Wookiemon said, you know what? When tier one units don't work, make a round of drones for the expansion and then make more tier one units. You know, you've kicked the ant hive. Yes, I built the ant hive outside your fucking base. But uh, you know what? You've kicked it nonetheless. And, 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 and fuck you. Your reapers ran into my base. You hurt my queen's feelings. She's a big boned, beautiful lady who just wants to inject lava all day. She ain't stupid. She, yes, she has simple loves and pursuits in this life. It's putting eggs inside a, a hatchery. Technically, a queen is married to, like, you guys think Marge with Homer Simpson is, is you know, settling for like less than she could get think about the queen this is like a moving organism can have babies has tentacles and spikes fucking literally in a, a monogamous relationship with an inanimate fucking hatchery that just sits there and she's like well i just put my babies in it repeatedly i'm like what sort of like how can how can that can it empathize with you can it share feelings like what do you get out of this relationship she's like well it takes my lava and you're like doesn't sound like a very satisfying relationship to me maybe you could do better Speaking of doing better, Hellions running into Roach Ravager, probably not the best. Let's, uh, let's keep that one back, shall we, Kid Poker? So, I wonder if the Zerg has realized there's a base on the bottom that the Terran has expanded to about two minutes ago. Hellions going to try to fight Roach Ravager, not their best decision. Not, not my fave. Cyclone is going to get rid of an Overlord. But this expansion's up, so even with that bad fight, I mean, Kid Poker's got three three factories. is way ahead. And what have you got? Just roaches and ravages, not even getting roach speed for them. Wookiemon's like, well, I gotta make tier one basic units to win. Biles the own unit, takes out a Hellion. 
Um, I, I, t I mean, maybe if you mine this out and run down to the bottom, there's no defense there, right? The problem is if you get too focused on this micro on the front, well, <laughs> apparently Kid Poker's just going to keep letting these Cyclones and Aliens get picked off on their own, so it might work. I love that there's still an, an engineering bay here, just seeing seeing that there's no expand. Barrack sees more roaches coming. The tanks and Cyclones are going to unsiege, walk down the ramp, and eat biles. Okay. Okay, Kid, are we going to... You, we're seeing a non-stop Roach Ravager rally, and we're going to move out only three or four siege tanks down the... What are we... <laughs> Why are you down here? <laughs> what... 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 what, what uh, what could possibly possess you to think coming down here was a good idea? It, it's, a, it's a testament to how bad Wookiemon's situation is that Wookiemon couldn't even kill three on siege tanks. Oh, uh, I only had so many brain cells to start with and I just lost like 50% of them watching this. Like Kid Poker's like, nah man, it's fine. I got nothing at home. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to A-move three tanks and three aliens after already losing all my Cyclones and aliens to the Roaches and Ravages one at a time. Like... Uh, Nah. Oh, my head hurts. Is making 1-1 one, one Hellions more Ravens right now? Because Ravens is what you need. When you've only got three tanks standing between you and Zerg victory. Talk about autopilot. Come on, Kid Poker. Holy shitballs, mate. What's also impressive, guys, is Wookiemon is still rallying slow Zerglings, Roaches, and Ravages just into the middle of the map. Like, through the barracks through the eBay is like, yeah, it's fine. Um, well, what's also impressive? There's nothing at home. Is this going to be a base trade? Are you going to lose to a slow Zergling run by? Guys, I, a 12 minute slow Zergling two Ravager attack is about to, is it's about to actually make a base trade kind of work. Drones are running across the map. Kid Poker here. I can see what sort of poker player Kid Poker is. The, it's the one that literally you cannot read. Just play the odds because Kid Poker doesn't even know what the cards are saying. It's just mystical symbols to him. He's like, I got the Magic Diamonds one. And you're like, what? And he's like, Magic Diamonds cards. And you're like, oh, okay. Like, why are we on the map, Kid Poker? What are we doing? It's, it's still got a gigantic army. And to be honest, even SCVs could probably kill these bunch of Ravagers. Cyclones are popping. They're going to pick off a few of these units. Bile's still doing well, though. Man, all the production's gone. Is there anything at home to defend, though? Wookiemon is trying to get more roaches out. Is taking expansions away? Is camping the production right now? You're kidding me. Is Wookiemon actually going to do this? Kid Poker with possibly the silliest attack I've ever seen in my life. Absolutely zero appreciation for what the opponent was doing, despite having floating barracks seeing the entire thing. I mean, honestly, I think Kid Poker here may have found a way to do the Royal Flush. The Royal Flush in StarCraft is where you dunk your own head in the toilet and you flush until you start drowning. And then at some point, as you're losing consciousness, a light bulb goes on and go, am I flushing myself? That's the Royal Flush. And right now it feels like Kid Poker's doing attacks with the Hellions on their own. The tanks are coming home one at a time. Ravens are dropping single auto turrets to fight Mass Roach. Ah, those two auto turrets are actually going to do something, but... Oh my god, the roaches just pull away, man. They're out of range. SCVs are going to get a nice little surround. Auto turrets, you need more. You've got to overwhelm this. You've got to get some tanks out. Has got so many cyclones queued up. This tank comes back. It's just going to get its butt kicked. Dude, I, if Woogie wins a base trade... By the way, the Hellions went right past the goal base and left all the drones alive. This is truly impressive. Truly impressive, guys. I've never seen one man get his head that far down the S-Bend. Kid Poker has managed to literally drown himself, not just in the toilet water, he's down around the S-Bend. He's, he's right in there. He can't get out if he wanted to. It's like that train spotting scene where he gets in the toilet and has a swim around and you're like, oh, that's weird. How do you get inside the, he's swimming through the sewers looking for his, his heroin that he's dropped in there. It's like that, except Kid Poker's looking, everything is victory and he's looking for the loss. He's like, where can I find the loss? How could I possibly find a way to lose this game? <laughs> Finally, he's trying to do a nice bit of micro there. This Cyclone adding a bit of anti-roach uh, anti damage. 
but oh man there's still roaches on the production dude and there's more rallying in there's a gold base up in mining wookie's still got gas in the bank can keep making roaches and kid poke is actually out of money at this point does have oh actually he did get that base up mining this is still so weird I, I think these roaches need to keep getting on the production and any more ravages would be so useful right now these roaches are coming in cyclones are going to come forward remember they never got mag fields so cyclones are one of the weakest units uh well i mean they're not the worst but it's just individual tanks would be so much better that command center is going to lift off which is nice cyclone doing a nice lock on takes out one of the ravages and still just cyclones building no siege tanks nothing like that ravages are trying to take this down these roaches if they can hit that mineral line it's actually going to make it work <laughs> wookiemon another cyclone runs down almost gets taken out there's no tank or anything oh another cyclone's going to run right into those roaches and that is a problem more roaches running and you can tell wookiemon is a true connoisseur of the control groups with just the hatcheries on the control group nothing else um, and all the roaches are just kind of a moving in repeatedly uh auto turrets find some sick damage but those roaches if they can finish off these three cyclones that is the core of the defense right now and uh-oh they're gonna get cornered oh no they're trapped in a corner ah! <laughs> one cyclone on reddit points gets out two more cyclones pop cyclones can be microed pretty much forever but if wookie ever gets on that expansion to the north there's no mining and Roach is once again flanking. Auto turrets going down. No, 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 no. Accidentally cancelled the auto turrets. Oh, these cyclones are trying to do it. They're trying to hang on. They're going to get cornered. Cyclones are getting cornered. I cannot believe it. Kid Poker's found a way to lose this game. Oh, my Lord. This truly... Can we just take a moment to respect what Kid Poker has achieved? Can we just take a moment? to just appreciate this true thing of beauty this here is a gem you know a diamond a rough in the diamond i think is what you call it it's not a diamond in the rough it's a rough in the diamond right this is where <laughs> you found the speck of just human feces that somehow solidified in the middle of the diamond formation like you're looking through the microscope at this beautiful molecular structure and there's just this one like poop molecule in the in the middle that somehow got in the center of the diamond and you're like i don't know how that got there but it did uh finally finds the expansion is gonna shut that one down and i mean kid poker this this is, is so crushed so crushed wookiemon could have counterattacked with those ravages early those those reapers didn't but honestly, it was it was just that that I'm on two base going up to three with double armory five factory, and I'm gonna stop building any of the good units, and I'm just gonna unsiege and a move across the map. Truly a, a feat of spectacular proportions. I gotta go back to that point when when the move out happened because it was yeah, it was about eleven minutes or so, and it was like okay we stabilized. I got four cyclones to contribute with my tanks somehow loses all four cyclones to a set of biles i didn't even know you could do that and then just goes mega macro mode while he moving two ravens and three times it was just it's incredible incredible kid poker you've you've just given us a unique starcraft experience those are one in a million thank you very much for that lovely display and wookiemon i gotta say I, i'm talking about how kid poker threw he did but the fact that wookiemon initiated the base trade with like was it 14 slow zerglings two or three ravages running into the base like that's not an army that is dies to anything and he's like we're gonna do a base trade and pulls drones takes the gold takes the bottom base rebuilds rallies roaches out the back door across the map just avoids the army and actually somehow makes a comeback happen wookiemon gg well played that one almost matches next week's challenge guys don't forget to get your insane insane comebacks uh through to me with the resurrection icy far for next week much love for watching guys don't forget to support the patreon links below in the description much love everybody for the support we'll see you in the next video goodbye and good night